you are watching this, you are most likely a human being, and you probably come from a long line of ancestors. In fact, if you do not have children, you will be the first person in your entire line of ancestry not to. Ever. Just think about that for a moment. Billions of years of evolution, billions of different choices by billions of different creatures, and billions of chance meets by two of the same species, all of it leads to... you. If one thing changed, if one animal didn't mate, and if one didn't have children, you would not be here. The chance of you being born is simply incredible. But can you put a number on it? One in a million? One in a billion? More? Less? What is the chance of being born? Let's start with your parents. The chance of your parents meeting is not as likely as you might think. Given that they likely met before the internet, and given the amount of time and possible numbers of reproductive partners, lottoland.co.uk estimates the possibility of your parents meeting is 1 in 20,000. The probability of them staying together is 1 in 2,000. That means the chance of you being born so far is 1 in 40 million, and we're not even halfway there. Now your parents have met, what is the chance of them reproducing and the chromosomes meeting and swapping to create your DNA from your parents' genes? The right pair of your mother's 100,000 eggs and your dad's 4 trillion viable sperm is 1 in 400 quadrillion. To put that number in perspective, 400 quadrillion seconds is just under 12.7 billion years. Throughout history, before modern medicine, the chance of surviving childhood was about 50-50 for each ancestor. That means the chance of them all surviving along your lineage, 150,000 generations, is 1 in 10 to the 45,000th power. That's a 1 followed by 45,000 zeros. Let's give that a bit of perspective. There are 10 to the 80 particles in the observable universe. 10 to the 45,000 is so big that if every particle in the universe had its own universe within, this still would not be 10 to the 45,000th particle. Now let's account for every generation, the chance of the right egg meeting the right sperm. 400 quadrillion to the power of 150,000 for every generation is 1 in 10 to the 2.64 millionth power. Now let's add everything up. 10 to the 2.64 millionth power times 10 to the 45,000th power times 2,000 times 20,000. That means the odds of you being born so far is about 1 in 10 to the 2,685,000th power. To put that in perspective, the chance of you shuffling two separate decks of cards and having the same order is 8 to the 67th power. So the chance of you being born is roughly the same as 40,000 people shuffling a deck of cards completely randomly and every single person getting the exact same order. So that is the chance of you being born, but that's not the whole story. What is the chance of you being, well, you? The chance of you having your exact DNA. Basically, how many possible permutations of your DNA are there? DNA consists of four types of nucleic acid or bases, thymine, guanine, adenine and cystosine. A single gene is roughly 3.2 billion bases long, so the gene has 4 to the 3.2 billionth power possible permutations. A strand of DNA contains 27,000 genes. There are 4 to the 3.2 billionth power to the power of 27,000 possible permutations of DNA, which is 1 in 4 to the 86.4 trillionth power. A number which, if written down in size 11 on Word, takes up 25,760,000,000 pages to even write down. So next time you don't feel special, just remember that the possibility of you being born combined with the probability of your DNA being in that order is so impossibly small it has never happened before and will never ever happen again. You are billions of years in the making and you are exceptional. And as always, thanks for watching.